My name's Jackson. And, uh, everybody's all been sick. At least once in their life. Some people have been sick hundreds of times. That's with most people. Some people less, some people more. It's as simple as that. And when you have a sick day, meaning you're sick, you don't have to go to school. You don't have to go to work. That could be very good. But at the same time, you're sick. And that's what I'm having today. I started off my day. Woke up, had some eggs. Got on the school bus. Went to school. Right when I got to school, aches in my stomach started to emerge. And uh, kept on going. Then I went to my first class. Miss Kesterson's math class. As I looked looked at Miss Kesterson, very old teacher, my stomach started to shake again. So I asked to go to the nurse. Went to the nurse, pretty sweet, sweet person, nice lady. She she gave me some saltines and ginger oil. I think she thought that would help. Didn't just really added on to it. Um. So, uh, I asked, is there anything else? She said no. And then she asked if I wanted to go home. And I th thought I'd be good because I'm going to diarrhea all day today. My stomach's not feeling good. And so I called my grandpa. He didn't answer. Called him again. And I, and I had my conversation with my grandma, grandpa, right in front of the teacher. I talked about me having diarrhea and stuff, and the teacher was right there while I talked about diarrhea. I, I was somehow pleased with that. Pleased that she did not like how I had diarrhea. Most people would just laugh, and it's pretty funny. Diarrhea. It's gross. It's like... It's gross. It's like watery, disgusting death. But the nurse cared. And that was nice. And she listened to my phone call with sadness for me. So my grandpa picked me up. I went home. And there my sick day started. Now let's take a look at my sick day. Shall we? Hi, and uh, what you just saw there was me getting some delicious Welch's Grape Sparkling Cider. And uh, you might be wondering why I was getting some Welch's Sparkling Grape Cider. I was getting some Welch's Sparkling Grape Cider because I could not get that at school. So of course... I'm gonna get some Welch's Sparkling Grapes cider because there's none of that at school. The closest thing we have is a little grape juice and some cardboard and you open it up 
drinking it. It tastes like cardboard. It's like two months years old. The cardboard's like decaying in it. It's grody. Just grody. It's pretty gross. So, I drank some Welch's Sparkling Grape Ape Cider because I couldn't get did that at school. And I wanted to try, try that because it would be good. And uh, like any day, hey, any sick day, you would walk around, do stuff if you couldn't do, do at school, like maybe watch some TV. You couldn't watch TV at school. School, get some, watch sparkling grape cider. You couldn't get that at school. And uh, maybe sc scratch your foot. You could scratch your foot. You can do that in school. But you can't really take your f shoe off. You In school you can, but only for a shoe while. Or the teacher might get mad at you. So. There's that. But, uh. I think that's pretty interesting. How humans do stuff they couldn't do at school at home when they have a sick day. Pretty interesting, in my mind, of course. Let's keep on going with my day. Hi again, and what you just saw there was me watching the TV in my room, and uh, like anybody, when you're sick, you're going to want to watch some TV, TV's good, I turned it on, saw an episode of It's Always Sunny, but I've seen that episode a thousand times, didn't really feel like seeing it, so I scrolled through the channels, nothing good on, and then... I see Dora, and I think it might be fun to to relive a childhood moment. And I think if I watch Dora, I could relive a childhood moment, because I watched Dora like a couple times when I was little. So I turn on Dora. The first words I hear is Guavados. That means banana. Two seconds after that. I'm starting to get annoyed by it. And two seconds after I'm annoyed, the little monkey thing with boots, who talks. Those things do not exist in real life. I looked that up on the internet. And it says, Guabadipity. That means shark. And then after that, I get really annoyed. So I scroll through the channels. I keep on screw. Rolling, working out the hands. Soon my muscles, my bulging muscles start to bulge out. I do not have any muscles. So my, so my tumors, my tumors of, my tumor muscles of some sorts start to bulge out. And then I see an old Fresh Prince of the Bel Air episode. A repeat, of course, probably been repeated over a thousand times. But, it's there, I haven't seen it, and I watch it. And I enjoy it. So, let, let's keep on going.
Hi. And what you just saw there, that little walking video, was me going downstairs checking Facebook. And uh, people really don't do, do that in school. Or you can't check Facebook. The internet does not allow you on Facebook. And that sucks. It really just is awful. So, I went on Facebook. And it's funny to see that all these teachers are on Facebook. It's hilarious. What are they doing on Facebook? Are they, like, posting statuses in um, class? I just... Saw a kid pick his nose. O-M-G. Teachers are freaking weirdos. Sometimes. And, uh... That's about it. I was checking Facebook, because I couldn't do that in school. And I like to see who's on there, to see who else is sick. Nobody is sick. If somebody's sick, they're gonna check Facebook because they're bored or they're gonna check some social network or check Twitter Instagram Gazoosbo oh you don't know what Gazoosbo is it's not real made it up so that's it let's move on alrighty Anyone there? Anyone? No? Alrighty. Well, what you just saw there was me going outside. And sometimes a sick person would go outside. It matters what type of sickness you have. If you have like uh, headaches or something caused by pollen, then they those people might stay outside. But if it's like a stomach ache, those people might go outside and see what's up. And on a sick day, it's kind of cool to go out outside, look around, and go back in just to see what's up. And that's what I was doing, checking it out. Talking to myself, I'll sing if anybody could hear me. Normal stuff. I know that last one was kind of weird, though. I know you're thinking, talking to yourself, that's, that's kind of creepy. Kind of creepy GB. Well, I'm kind of a creepy dude.
what you just saw there was me getting a bath ready, testing the bath out. And the camera went black. And you heard bath noises, like you would in real life. And uh, when you're sick, you might get a little bored sometimes. So yeah, instead of getting the shower ready, yeah, turn on that bath. Yeah, yeah. Put some soap in it. Make a bubble bath, and uh, bubble the bubble it up. And I know that phrase did not make it sound any cooler. Maybe bubble it up it up. I like words. Words are cool. And then, uh, had a little bit of a stash here, like a line of black hair, so I decided to, to shave that. I actually did not get the first cut, uh, so I shaved it first. That didn't get on the video, but the second time, it did. So, and it's good to sh shave because you don't want a Ricardo furry face mustache and I decided to do it on sick day because I need something to do. I'm shaving something to do. Let's carry on eh? with what you do on a sick day. Let's see what I do. Him, him and the dog kisses are not alright. Big you, big you, big you, big you, big you, big you. What you just saw there was me spending some quality time with my little dog, Bijou. One out of three of my dogs. One of my dogs is at my dad's house. One is here. She's... I don't know where the other one is. The other one likes to roam in dark corners. It's weird. I wish I could roam in dark corners. Man, that would be cool. That would be really cool. Alright, back to what I'm gonna say. Um, something good to do when you're sick, and something lots of people do if they have pets, spend a little time with their pets. Maybe you're a little bored, you want to spend some time, spend some extra time with your pets. You could be at school or work, and your pets get lonely. And it's good to spend some time with your pets to make up for the time you're gone. So... I'm glad because you got to spend some time with me. And someday I will journey into the darkness of the shadows. Like for my other dog, Chica. Alrighty, let's carry on. I know I've said that lots of times, but... Carry on is the best words to use on... Let's go to the next video. Alright, let's carry What you just saw there was uh, me watching TV in the living room. And most people know when you're sick, a large thing is to just go downstairs, lay on the couch, watch some TV in the living room. Go to your living room, watch some TV. Easy as that. And uh, I think why people do this is that uh, even if they do have a TV in their, their room, or maybe the uh, TV 
in the living room is bigger or some, something nicer. So they go down there, watch it, and their parents don't care because they're sick. And uh, that's about, about it. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool that that is just a common thing for sick people to do. Go to the living room, watch some TV. Just easy as that. And then they also do lots of other little activities. But it all goes around watching TV in the living room or watching TV or laying down and and playing a game something like that they're all in the same categories of just laying down sitting down and settling down because you're sick it's good to settle down so let's let's skedaddle to the next part damn do you like my sound sound effects i think they're good What you just saw in that last video was me watching TV in the living room and slowly, my living room, and I was slowly drifting to sleep till I was asleep. And that is going to be the last video because usually you're going to be asleep for a while or just then you wake up and you carry on what you were doing. Till you feel better. That's usually the case. For when you're sick. And the thing about taking a nice long nap. And why it's so good is. you Usually if it's during work hours or school hours. You would probably still be awake. Doing work or something. At that time if you were at school or work. But if. You're at ho home, it's nice to sleep because I bet at school or work you're thinking some sleep would be good now. And now that you are ho home, you think, I could sleep. And you very could. And so, you could sleep. And some people just stay up and do what they've been doing. Watch some TV, maybe go outside, look around, do whatever you want. And when you go to sleep it's pretty nice and that's about all and when this video all comes down to it it's saying that when you're sick you do lots of stuff just little stuff and most of the time that stuff doesn't involve much exercise because you're sick and you want to feel better. And when you're sick, you don't feel good and you don't really feel like you could do much because you're sick. You don't, your body is not ready to do that much. Uh, it's fighting diseases in your body and, and such. And... This video is saying, and when you think about out of sick day, you think about lounging around, but you do do lots of stuff, just little stuff. And this is what the video is saying. And sometimes you can do something way different. That happens a lot. Like I decided to make these videos and combine it to make a movie fan movie on the internet and I hope you guys like it and I hope this opens up your mind a little bit and uh, have a good day and uh, whenever you're sick think of all the steps you've done when you're sick alrighty that's about it bye